Health Canada is working to calm confusion over the fall rollout of the new COVID-19 vaccines. They're not yet approved for use in our country, but already provinces have been directed to throw out last year's supply. Here's CTV's Andrew Johnson with more. Canadians who plan to get a fall COVID shot will receive new protection from reformulated vaccines. We are transitioning towards a yearly COVID shot and a yearly flu shot being given at the same time and eventually it may be combined into one shot. For the first time, Health Canada is directing provinces to throw out last year's shot as it moves through the approval process for vaccines that target the latest strains of the virus. Some doctors and pharmacists have raised concern about confusion among patients during the transition and a possible gap in vaccine availability. Some provinces are following the directive, others are not. Having a message out there that is advising pharmacies and the like to just destroy their vaccine stock even though it's not expired. That's a little bit how it came out and I think the messaging was unfortunate. Health Canada says more than four years after the beginning of the pandemic, it's part of the country entering a more routine phase managing COVID vaccinations, similar to how it rolls out the yearly flu shot. For the vast majority of Canadians, you can wait until the fall to get a vaccine. There's going to be a few individual circumstances where someone may need one before then. I think those are going to be a very, very small minority of cases. The VP of Infectious Diseases at the Public Health Agency of Canada puts it this way. Whether you get your vaccine this Tuesday or next Tuesday or the following Tuesday, the difference in your protection is not likely to be very substantial. However, the difference in getting a new formulation that is a better match may actually be substantial. Once the new COVID vaccine formulation is approved by Health Canada, it's expected provinces could begin rolling out shots in October. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Vancouver.